packed up and ready to head off to Northern Banks. Uh, it's about an hour and a half drive from Auckland. It's quite dark, isn't it? Is that any better? Yeah, so it's about an hour and a half drive from Auckland to Mangawai and we're going with another couple. So they're gonna come here from Hamilton and then we'll uh, go in one car, it makes it a lot easier. Apparently the weather's gonna be really, really shitty, um, but fingers crossed it's not too bad, but we'll see. We are glamping, so I guess it's a little bit better um, in comparison to camping because if we were to bring our own tents and our own gears and everything I don't think would survive or probably seep into the ground in the mud or something but because we're glamping um, there's really like canopy tents all set up for us and I think we should be pretty okay um, but yeah our friends are coming shortly so let's go first night but while I was getting ready the left side of my stomach hurt really really bad I did try to soldier on for a bit so you'll see some clips shortly but I lasted about an hour before heading back to the tent and decided to call it an early night so that I could have more energy for New Year's Eve <laughs> cleared up and the sun came out to say hello so we took advantage of this by leaving the campsite we found this really nice cafe called utopia and i think it was inspired by some sort of alvin disney fantasy type of thing it was really nice We also went to the beach, so you'll see me and Shai getting the boys to create a little heart in the sand from, I saw this on TikTok, so I wanted to give it a go, but I think they did a pretty good job. Hi guys, we're currently at Good Planet, we're here to pick some strawberries, um, it's a really nice day for it as well, so lots of people though, and we've got a 2kg bucket, I think it was around $27, yeah for this bucket, yeah, so we're halfway already, Jess has been doing a great job at finding all the really big strawberries, so any fruit Pick a company and sell me. Get in contact. I'm no strawberry expert, but they do say to get the most red one you can find, and it'll be really sweet. So we've got a 
beautiful bucket to the broom and I'm sitting under the tree because it's so blooming hot. doing some planning and I was sitting here and I was just like you know what why don't I just pick up the camera I can film a little segment and you guys may be interested in um you know goal settings planning for 2024 and your year ahead so I like to one reflect on the previous year how did that go uh, reflect on your goals and affirmations, your resolutions that you set. How did it go? Is it sort of something that serves you? Is it sort of something you want to achieve? Three, um, get yourself a new journal. <laughs> so I've got myself a journal here and after I've reflected on my previous year and how that all went, I like to go through on how I want 2024 to look and play out and manifest anything so to do that I always like to get a new journal for the new year so Charles actually got me this it's a really pretty light pale blue I put my little initials down here and how I like to kind of organize it I'm very plain and basic when it comes to my organization and journal first page is 2024 and here I've got resolutions to attain or affirmations or goals to achieve. So I've got about 11 so far for 2024. And, you know, it can be just things like the first one on here that I've written down is read 10 books. Um, you know, start Pilates, run a half marathon. And then um, after that, I have a habit page. So I've broken it down to daily habit and weekly habit. So I've got five daily habits that I really, really want to knuckle down on for 2024. And that's one, waking up early. I am more of an early bird. I go to sleep pretty early. I'm a granny, <laughs> as all my friends like to call me. At the end of last year in December, I started getting up at like a little bit later, 6.30, 6.45, which isn't bad, but my theory is at like 6.50. So I'm a girl's in a rush and she's not in the best mindset when she gets all rushy. So she's waking up earlier, doing her morning routine, enjoying little moments like that before I get up and go to work. Next, I put daily movement. In the past, I would either do go to the gym, go for a run. But I thought if I put in daily movement, it counts as going for a walk, you know, going walk around the block, uh, going to Pilates, um, going for a run going to the gym whatever it is at least you're getting your daily movement um, next one is reading so i love books i've read quite a few books last year but i didn't read as much as i would have liked to and i'm finding my genre when it comes to like romance the book talks is what it is some kind of basic but they were like the colleen hoover books last year they were great um, but I'm also a very, like, I love my Atomic Habits, um, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, so The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, I love those books, I've got a little bookshelf going on in the back, so I thought if I read one that's, you know, more self-helpy, and then I also read one that's chill read, um, it will kind of balance it out, so I've got two books that I actually recently got, Alchemist. Next book, Charles actually got me. I actually really wanted to read this book because I'm a bit of a true crime girly. Uh, it's called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson, number one New York Times bestseller. So, very, very excited to read this. So, yeah, just reading more books. Next one is journaling. So, if you guys know me and if you've seen my HR Diaries video where, you know, I'm taking you to work with me, a work day in my life, um, you know that I'm, I like to write things down. My to-do list is written, you know, if I've got anything going on in my head, it's written down. That's because it's a way for me to process everything that's going on up in here. So, journaling just helps me express my emotions and gets my thoughts out on paper some most days it makes no sense and that's fine because that's what's going on up here but if it's on paper it kind of just helps me 
feel more relaxed, I feel less anxious. You write it down on paper, you're like, huh, it's not actually as bad as, as I thought it was. So that's kind of like a little snippet of how I like to plan for the new year. Um, I think it's a really beneficial thing for everyone to be doing. Charles and I also plan to sit down together and kind of talk about our relationship, what are our relationship goals, reflection of the past year, what's next. Um, yeah, because I think it's important to have your own personal goals for yourself as well with a partner. Um, if you don't work on the relationship, you don't have goals for that, you don't have affirmations for that, Thanks for listening to my tutorial. Strawberries. Ew, it's <laughs>